This is a uh, video. I'm going to try to make it pretty short. I'm just going to run you through what we did with Photoshop on Monday, and uh, you can get going with this, okay? So we'll try to keep this pretty short. Here's the end result of what you're going to do. This is, let me run you through all these layers, okay? Here's a picture um, of a hotel in Las Vegas called New York, New York. And what I did was I removed the background and I added in a dark and stormy, kind of crazy night sky. And I added in this color balance adjustment layer to make the sky kind of red. You can do all kinds of things with this. So let me show you how to do all this, okay? I'm gonna start by closing Photoshop. And I'm not gonna close everything so you get a clean start with me. So uh, I'm gonna attach some images to um, that announcement and some of them are gonna be like this. <clears throat> so pretty simple, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take one of these images and drag it onto Photoshop, okay? You can do that. Um, That'll open it with Photoshop. Let's see what happened. Okay, you can also just right click and go open with uh, Photoshop. You're on a, a PC, so a little different, but pretty similar. All right, so these are the tools in Photoshop, and the tutorial I give you is gonna kinda give you some pointers on how tools work, all right? Tool you can use to make this kinda easy and get started is called the Magic Wand Tool. And the magic wand tool works by selecting all the pixels of a certain color. So I'm going to hit the control command plus key so that I can zoom in a little bit. All right, I want to be able to see this better. If I want to move around, I just hold the space bar and I can move the photo. I'm going to start clicking up here and you'll see it's selected all these pixels, but it kind of stopped here because they change. Now this button, let's undo that and we'll do it again. You'll see this button here. It means we're gonna always add to the selection, all right? So I'm gonna just go ahead and click here. Wherever I click, it's gonna keep adding pixels, all right? And you'll see it's starting to outline the top of the building. And you'll see I'm missing some pixels. Now, I have this tolerance setting here. So if I were to change this to like, let's say I change it to five, okay? It's gonna pick very few pixels at once. If I change it to like, uh, 88 or something, it'll pick everything. We don't want to go too high because it'll wind up picking the building too. And then when I remove the background, it's going to remove the building. So we don't want to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's reset this to the beginning. I'm going to set this to about 33 or something like that. All right. And now let's start picking these pixels. And you'll see it's not bad. If you find it's not adding pixels, just hold the shift key down, okay? And that'll add to the selection. So that's pretty good. Looks like I missed one right there. I can uh, zoom in, um, but I can get that another way. Let's see if we can just zoom in and get right on there. We keep missing it, but I'll get that a little later. Looks pretty good down here. This is like a comet, so we're gonna leave that alone. That selected pretty nicely. We missed a little bit here. That's good. We're going to come over here, hold the uh, space bar, move right over. Uh, we missed some down here. And a couple of these little babies. And it looks like I got it all. So let's zoom out. We're going to do uh, Command or Control minus. Hold the space bar down. We'll move this around. And I'd say that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to unclick Un unlock the background layer and uh, what I want to do before I do anything is I want to duplicate that layer all right and uh, I'm gonna work with just this this is the layer I'm working with so I'll turn this layer off I'm keeping this just as a backup all right so um, I'm just gonna I've selected everything I'm just gonna delete and there you go I just deleted my background okay let's find another picture and remember I said you can use unsplash that works really well um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick, whoops, wow, you're missing the bell. I'm going to pick this picture right here. I'm going to drag that into Photoshop and I'm going to use another tool and I'm going to remove this background. So I'll show you how that works pretty quick. I'm going to use what's called the magnetic lasso tool. 
and it works like this. You start clicking, and you'll see as I move my cursor, it is just going to trace along these mountains. Okay, so I'm moving, moving, moving. I'm going fast. I want you to go slower than I am going, okay? You'll see when I go fast, I start getting like off the track a little. So if I do that, just hit the backspace or delete button and it starts deleting where you ever you are and then get back to where you are. So I'm going to go deleting, deleting. Well, I'm not deleting yet. I'm just selecting, okay? So I keep selecting my whole thing here and looks like I'm doing really well here. I want to like zoom in a little bit because I, I don't want to lose all these trees, but you'll see I'm going, whoops, I just messed that up. You'll see I'm going over these trees and I'm just gently moving and I go up this ridge right down there over these trees. And how are we doing? Are you staying with me? You can like uh, fast forward for a second if you need to. Uh, but I think I'm about there. Whoops, I uh, just messed that up. Um, okay, where am I? Way back down here. So let's delete again, delete. Okay, I'm just going to get it up here. Uh, don't do this with the computer on your lap. You can hear my computer starting to race a little bit. So get it on a table. Okay, now right here I'm going to stop. I want to zoom out. Here's what I have to do. Again, I'm going to hold the space bar down. I want to move my picture over so I can see the whole thing at once. So I'll zoom out again. Okay. Now you'll see I just moved my cursor and I like got this line up here. I just need to hit the delete key again until I am back to where I was. Now, I'm just going to come down. I don't really care about this. And I have to, to end it, I have to rejoin. Okay. So I get to the first one and I click. Now I've just selected that whole thing. And my my lasso turned off. So I'm going to come up here and you'll see I selected the mountains not the sky. So I want to go to select and I want to go to inverse. Now I've actually selected the sky. Now I keep forgetting to do something and what I want you to get in the habit of doing is duplicating the layer so you always have a copy. All right. Unlock the background because that was what we're working on. Bring the copy below. Make sure it's closed. Now, I'm going to just uh, come over here and I'm going to hit delete. Whoops, my bad. Um, we'll just click on the picture. We're on this layer, wrong layer. Hit delete, and I now got rid of my uh, background, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted my sky. So I'm going to go up to select, and I'm going to do inverse. Now, if I delete, I have my sky. Okay? I have a few little weirdo things here, so I'm going to use another tool. I'm just going to use the lasso tool, and I'm just going to, whoops, my bad, uh, select, draw a little circle around these pixels, rejoin that. I'll click delete, come over here. I just want to get the pixels like I just kind of missed. I did a poor job of that. I'm going to delete that. Whoops, I guess I'm missing it right there. There, go. Whoops, I didn't want to delete that. Okay, um, I have some pixels here. I'm going to go right over here. Let's see if I can get to the beginning of that. Delete that, and I clean that up. Uh, Command or Control D will deselect things. That's important to know. Okay, so now I have a sky to work with. I'm going to get on my Move tool, and this should be my building. So I'm going to zoom out. I just want to see what I'm working with. And... Here's my sky. Get on the move tool. I'm just going to drag it out like we did with the grid. Let's do that again. Okay. Let's come up here. Now you'll see that I filled in the building with sky. Um, that's because I was selected when I did it. So it's still there. All right. I want to make this sky big enough to cover everything. So I'm going to hit Command or Control T. And I'm just going to like really make this big. It's just sky, so I'm going to move it into place here. Looks like I want to go a little bigger. All right, now I drag this layer below this one. Now I have this cool building in this night sky. All right, staying with me? Okay, let's add an adjustment layer. So I'm going to start by adding an adjustment layer to just the night sky, and I'm going to pick a color balance. And I'm going to click this little button so it stays right on that layer. 
I'm going to make this a little wacky. We're going to make a kind of green, cyan, add some blue. Maybe we want blue, add red. Kind of like this evil, weird, weird, like uh, sci fi sky. And I want to do something to this too. So I'm actually going to add an adjustment layer. And uh, same deal, but I want to make sure I click this button. This one I'm going to like make kind of really like Emerald City green. Okay. And that is essentially what you're doing. All right. I hope that's helpful. Play this slow, play it over, get comfortable being able to do this and save your work so that when you come back or a little later on, you can email me what you've done. Okay. Actually, today is Tuesday. If you are out tomorrow, uh, let's plan on you getting me something in by email tomorrow. I'll talk to you then. All right. See you, man.